going to show you uh, a couple of things. I'm going to show you first uh, this concept of a profile. So everybody has a profile that all their data gets saved to. Um, you'll have uh, avatars, uh, some really fun ones, uh, uh, a picture avatar, an intro avatar, and a winning avatar. And I'm going to show you three games, um, sorry, four games, three one-player game, one two-player game. That's what the 1.0 app is going to launch with. And uh, we're just going to show you right here and how it all works. So it's very simple. So uh, I'm going to go over here. Michael, why don't you maybe come on this side? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I can see what's on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to open up the app. Okay, first thing it's going to do is I'm going to sign up because I'm already signed in. Um, this is what you'll see when the app is first opened, okay? Uh, you're going to want to create an account and you create a gamer tag. Gamer tag, if you played, um, you know, PlayStation 4, Xbox, it's like a nickname, right? Uh, you enter your gamer tag, you put in your password and your PIN, and, uh, and then you log in, okay? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and log in with my existing account. Okay, my gamer tag is Jasper King. Because I don't know why it makes no sense, Jasper King. You want to go ahead, go ahead and show them your password too? No, I was. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to put my password. Although this is very secure, we still do not share passwords. That's lesson 101 for anything online. So you can see here the app now. Um, you have uh, the games, um, the three one-player games, and then the, the two-player game there. Uh, stats this will be coming out later, okay, and then profile. So I've already added some of my avatars and, and videos here, um, but this is my uh, picture avatar when I play a game. It will show, I'll show you that when we actually play a game. My intro video there, uh, I'll show you how that works, and then my victory video. Uh, my real name, my club URL, that's, that's going to be important when we talk about the doubling referrals part. Uh, pin, I'll talk about that's about in a second, and then password. So let's play um, Reflex. Okay, so uh, if you want to know what the game is about, you actually just, uh, there's a little video there that, uh, that plays that reminds you how to play the game, okay? And then uh, there's a button down here that says play with scoreboard, okay? I'm going to go ahead and click that and ask you for three things. Uh, your gamer tag, you can choose to leave it blank if you just want to play a quick game and you don't want to, uh, uh, you know, save your information, you're just uh, running through games really fast. You can uh, just put nothing there, and I'll just put player one. Uh, or if you want to put your gamer tag, I'm going to go ahead and put mine, just because I want to show you the avatar piece. So one reason you might not want to put your gamer tag in if you're running back-to-back -back matches or back-to-back -back games. So for instance, if you're running a tournament or you're running an in-house event, right. you might just leave that blank. Right. Okay. So I put the, the, the level. So remember, you can do level one through ten. Uh, ten being the hardest, one being the easiest. That's the sensitivity of the vest. The uh, length of the round, I'm going to put for 30 seconds. And then you hit start game. Now it's asking for the pin, okay? This is going to ensure um, uh, that it is the, the right person playing, so I'm gonna put in my pin. And then it says, go ahead, uh, Jasper King, that's my username, uh, tap against the vest. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap against William's vest here. You, saw, you see how it lit up blue? And that's it. That's as quick as it is to, to sync up. And uh, now the game is played here, and the, sorry, uh, the <laughs> results are, are on the on the phone, so this is the reaction game. Now you can hit yourself. You're too slow. <laughs> okay. um, see, I'll try another. One. Good job. Oh, I, oh, I was too. I was too weak. Purple is fake. It's so hard to hit yourself. <laughs> on the right here is how fast. Let's get Michael. You can just keep back. Stay back. Uh, on the right here is how fast you're uh, hitting. Uh, and on the left was how many successful hits you had. Once the game is done, this is only a 30 second match we um, will show you uh, all the data from, from the match so, uh, or the training, um, training session. So what level you're on, the length of the round, your average reaction time in milliseconds, uh, how many successful attempts, we had none, <laughs> uh, and then um, what those values are uh, over time. So you can, and then there's also a timeline view of, of everything that also gets shown, okay? So that's uh, for your reaction time. Now I'm going to show you the one for stamina, okay? And it's called Heartbeat. I'm going to go ahead and play with scoreboard. I'm not going to put in a gamer tag. I'm going to put on level two. Put this on for 20 seconds. I'm going to start the game. And you see how quick it is? Again, you double tap. Once the lights go blue and fill the screen, that means it's ready to go. Okay. William, you want to keep on hitting yourself for about 20 seconds? <laughs> 
On the right is the number of hits. On the left is the stamina score. Okay, and you can see, you can put this on a large TV screen. <laughs> Almost three, two, one. All right, nice job. So once the game is done, again, all the critical information about the match or the round is there. Uh, there'll be a graph of the, the, the hits and how strong they were over time. And uh, so you can see at the beginning, he started off strong, but kind of went weak at the end. And uh, so we can see that uh, uh, if you, you know, stamina is all about, did you have the same amount of power at the beginning than you did at the end? And this graph can show you that. All right. Let's go ahead and play the last one, which is hit meter all about power. power. So this one measures your power. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with score, uh, play with scoreboard. I'm gonna put on level two just to be nice to William. <laughs> put on 20 seconds and start game. It's saying go ahead and tap against the vest. So you just double tap like that. Then it'll sync up and okay. This one, again, is uh, all the data that's going to show on the, the screen in real time. So it shows you the power in joules. Okay. So it'll show you your hardest hit that you did in this round and what the last one was. And then once the, the match is over, we'll give you a nice summary of, uh, of that, uh, that round, similar to uh, the other games and also a timeline view. All right, so that was the one-player games. Can we get the camera back on me, Michael? So that was the one-player games. Now um, go over here and show you the two-player game. And this is kind of like the – those ones were exciting, mm -hmm. but this is like the exciting one, right? So we're going to show you um, energy score, okay? So I'm going to need another vest for that. All right. So, um, Michael, why don't you come back over here? Mm -hmm. Um, maybe face, uh, yeah, this way. I'll come this out. Guide you, my friend. Thank you. Follow my arm. I'm gonna go to games. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put uh, two player. Okay, I'm gonna go energy scoring. And you notice in energy scoring, there's two um, options. There's uh, scoreboard, which just shows like a, a regular scoreboard like you saw in the other matches. So if having a tournament, um, you could use that mode. If you're having a tournament, you could also use this mode. This is in-game reality, okay? This is the one where we put you inside a video game, okay? So it asks for just some basic information. Uh, the gamer tag, again, you don't have to put anything uh, if you want just a quick match. But if you do want your intro video and avatar and all that to play, you can put that in. The level, and then the same thing for the second player and then the time, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put in my... So remember, just like when... Um, you're using the, uh, the chess cards without the app. You can actually have each chess card on a separate level if you want to make an intentional mismatch for training purposes or if you want to make a handicap um, for whatever reason that you, that you want. Uh, you don't have to have both players fighting at the same level. So if you have an instructor versus you know, kids or you, you really want to do some scenario training or situational training, um, you can make it much, much more difficult for one player uh, than the other. Great. And um, so... Let me get back on my uh, phone here, Michael. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I put the information in. So I've got Jasper King versus Sush. Sush is, uh, is William. That's his name. And um, it's, I'm going to hit start. It's going to say, Jasper King, what's your pin? I'm going to go ahead and put it in. And it says, hey, Sush, what's your pin? I'm going to put his in. And it says, go ahead, Jasper King, and tap against your vest. So uh, I will be Jasper King because that is me. Okay. So I synced up. And then it says, Hey, Sush, why don't you push, put on game one uh, and push play, okay? And then we double tap to sync up, okay? And then you can see our cool intro videos played. Williams is much more interesting than mine. And then what we have here is in real time uh, an overlay of the match. So as we get hit, so William, you want to go ahead? Yeah, that's right. As you get hit, you can see, we'll move back a little bit, Michael. Sure. And then so we can see, William, go ahead, William, hit yourself again. Okay, we can see in real time what is going on in the match. Okay, I think you put yourself on a really high level. <laughs> Here we go. We'll finish it up. Oh, there we go. I, I, like, I like your winning animation better. <laughs> <laughs> and when the match is done.
it, uh, uh, it plays the, the, the avatar winning animation. And then that video is actually stored in your um, gallery, okay? So now here's that video replayed again, and you can share this on social media. Now what's important here is notice on the bottom right is your club website, right? That's what's gonna get you those referrals that we talked about uh, uh, earlier on. So the kids are gonna uh, record this, or you record your kids doing this, and then they will share this uh, with their friends, and the, the idea is that will, you know, uh, that will be the, the, the key or trigger to actually get them to walk into your club because before that they just had to um they just had to kind of tell them right or show them some sort of flyer but now they can physically show them what they do you know the video that we just took right there probably isn't the best example of that i know you have a video i believe on there of like some kids that we videoed before can we mm -hmm. one of those yeah yeah videos? yeah that's a good point because I, we we're trying to do a demo and obviously we're not competing um so i want to show you a, a match of some uh, some kids that we did at a, at a club the other day did this one yeah so, could you get zoom on that? So this is like a this is like a broadcast mode. This is you know like how you could imagine this being on TV, um, or you can uh, you know see them more directly as if they were the characters in the video game. That's really what this is emulating. Is you know you're seeing the score alongside the action, um, and the, the the kids or the participants are the characters. So that's really the the big appeal of this. So you can imagine how you know if you have a video. You know, you're, you're, you're nine years old and you have a video of you participating in something like this um, and where you are the character in the video game. That's something that's really naturally shareable. And so now you're not having to beg them to go out and get referrals. You're not having to beg them to share content of, hey, what do we do in the, in the class? And you're not wanting for content of like, okay, what's something cool that we could show off um, and, and constantly trying to come up with new ideas, right? It's something that's very, very natural. It's not scripted. Um, it's very genuine. Right, so their excitement shows through, and that's something they're going to want to show all of their friends uh, all the time. Then uh, that's a much more natural lead-in, right? Than hey, you know, come try martial arts for thirty days and you get a free uniform or something like that. So, right, um, and uh, so the the one point, so that's a that's a, an overview of, of, of the app, and so the one point version of the app, and we'll be releasing updates uh, probably. Uh, Weekly, if, uh, for sure monthly, uh, but more likely week weekly at the beginning, mm -hmm. and so we'll add more and more features. 